Well, hi there, Jordan, and uh, welcome to yet another beautiful weekend. This is our 50th weekend in a row of us doing this kind of stuff, which means that the next time you see me, it will be our 52nd, which is a one-year thing. Not exactly a year because of the way the days work, but still, a year. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your story. I appreciate it. Boy bands have always been a big thing. I think uh, you can go back to, uh, you know, the beginning of music, and um, you can you could probably point to boy bands. I think probably even, you know, early 60s uh, British Invasion groups, including probably the Beatles, probably filled that role at one point in their lives. But uh, when I was a wee lad, uh, New Kids on the Block um, was the boy band of choice. But I, I can definitely see how you got sucked into the in sync backstreet boys craze. There's there's nothing there's no shame in in in, in that being some of your earliest purchase music. It's inc it was incredibly popular music, so um, there's no there's no reason to be all that ashamed. And on that note I will share another embarrassing uh, music choice from my very early youth. So let's go to like nineteen eighty eight, nineteen eighty nine, young eight slash nine year old uh, Dave Knufke uh, was really big into MC Hammer. Uh, MC Hammer was massive. And if you've never actually watched an MC Hammer video, uh, I'll leave a link or two because they are impressive. Um, and he could dance like you wouldn't believe. I would just like to point out, I don't know if you can hear the child crying, but I am not neglecting the child to make this video. Um, it's part of an ongoing process of being too the crying thing. But anyway, MC Hammer, so um, we had Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him. And then I even uh, I even came into possession of, of the follow-up album uh, Too Legit To Quit. And that was the hand thing you did. You went Too Legit To Quit. Yep. Some things are just burned into the synapses. It's almost like children are more prone to pick up on the uh, cultural uh, advertorial sorts of vibes going on in, in the culture and, and really think like, oh yes, I'm supposed to listen to this now. I wonder. I'm glad to hear that everything was well. Couple of points of clarification. I was in Saratoga, not Syracuse, which if you've ever been to either one, you uh, would probably soon understand that these are very, very, very different places in upstate New York. Um, it's like comparing Utica to someplace that's not Utica. I did see Duvall. I saw Duvall a couple of weeks before the end of the year. I, I was talking to Ms. Green on her hall duty, and, and along came Duvall Patel, and we had a little conversation. Uh, but Philadelphia is a lovely place, and certainly it's a lovely place for, for college-aged gentlemen to go. Um, they have a lot of really interesting things going on in Philadelphia, so I hope that you have some fun, and um, that you enjoy yourself. And I hope that the uh, one cent flip flops, is that what it is? It's a dollar flip flops, right? The one dollar flip flop craze was not uh, t too hard to handle. I assume that you dealt with the one dollar flip flops, but maybe you didn't. Over here, not so much. Uh, I've got a summer job going on and uh, just kind of hanging out in a couple of weeks. I'll be in Colorado. But before I do that, you will actually get the 50 second video. Uh, good. All right, we'll see you in a couple of, couple of weeks, or I guess I'll see you in a week, and then I'll see you again a little bit later. All right, have a good weekend. I hope uh, Philly is super fantastic. Don't eat uh, cheesesteaks. Your guts can't handle them.